gonna show you big in the Bible. It's show you all these words go back to dark skin or colored man. All right, but when we read it in English, it says black. Now he he, he knows he was an Israelite from the tribe of Judah because Solomon was the king. He was the king of Judah or the king of Israel. So if you ask Solomon his nationality, he's not gonna say I'm black. But if you describe something, you use a color as a description. Just like the so-called white man, he's not white. He's red. Read this. Book of Job chapter 30, verse 30. Really? My skin is black upon me. We're gonna prove it with this precept. Go ahead. And my bones are burned with heat. And his bones are burned with heat, because he was in the sun. So the heat made him darker. Alright, so people do white people get black when they in the sun? No, we do. Right, we get black. Alright. Go ahead. Give me um second over six and fifty four. Okay, so I, I love the telling you know the word the word. But sometimes, especially when you read the Bible, I don't I feel so you can't take one small I'm gonna show you small, small excerpt out of it. Because you can you can use that excerpt that you were trying to do. But if you read the whole story, you're trying to do that. Mm -hmm. I got you, I got you. We're gonna show you why we do that, okay? Okay. Because right now we give you understand. If you come to class, we'll sit there, you know what I'm saying? But this is how you get understanding. Read this. Book of Book of Isaiah chapter uh, uh, 28 verse so 9. Said, start at 9. So the sister said, why y'all, you know, keep reading? Because that's what Christians say when they come up. Keep reading the whole thing. And they have us read the whole chapter. Because they don't never get to say what they wanted to say. No, I, no, I know, I know. I'm just saying. I know. We're going to show you Christ did this too. Read this. Whom shall he teach knowledge? Uh -huh. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? So the question is, who is the Lord going to teach understand because this is this is holy everybody can't pick up the bible and understand it. who are you going to teach the doctrine and give knowledge to go ahead then thou weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast who weaned from milk and drawn from bread baby you see that so he can't deal with big mama because they she caught up in, they be arguing with him but they can't prove nothing they said he's going to deal with the babe y'all the babe because y'all didn't get indoctrinated y'all always had questions about it because we that chosen generation go ahead for precept must be upon precept Ooh, uh oh Precept must be upon precept. He said it might be. You gotta go precept upon precept. Precept upon precept. Oh, he he kind of uh, exaggerating. Right. Line upon line. Line upon line. Line upon line. Line upon line, like we do it. Here a little. Here a little in the Old Testament. And there a little. Here a little in the pocket. Here a little in the New Testament. That's how you get understanding. Go ahead, keep going. Uh, for with stammering lips. For with stammering lips. And another tongue. Hold on. In another tongue, another language. Not Hebrew, because what's what? We were going to go into slavery on ship and lose our Hebrew tongue. The Bible would have to be translated into another language. So the Lord got it coded so you can go precept upon precept. Go ahead. Well, he speak to this people. He's speaking to us in English. It wasn't written in English. You see that? Read this. Uh, this is uh, Psalms 119, verse 104. Uh, through my, through thy precept, through the whole chapter, through thy precept, through the precepts of the Bible, I get understand. That's where you get the understanding. Precept upon precept. If you read the whole chapter, you're gonna get confused when you try to explain that. When I go home, I'm gonna say I'll read the whole thing. But I got the understanding, so I can teach you a precept, so you can understand. You see that? Go ahead, bring this up. Book of Luke, chapter four, verse seventeen. Uh -huh. And there was delivered unto him the book of the Isaiah. prophet Isaiah. Or Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he So read up a little bit. Uh, okay, okay. So. Yeah, and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. Uh, so somebody Jesus. came to Christ and they gave him the book of Isaiah. Now I got the brother going to Isaiah. Alright, go ahead. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it No, was, he started at chapter one and can't read. He found the place. He went to the precept. He found the place. Where it was written. Where it was written what? The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Uh-huh. He's um, he has preached the gospel to everybody. Why is he preaching the poor? Preach the gospel to the poor. Uh-huh. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, uh -huh. to preach deliverance to the captive. To the who? The captive. Is everybody captive? So the gospel is the good news. Read this. This is what Christ went to the book. He went to the sixty first chapter and he went to the three. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He's saying the same thing 
As I said, go ahead. Because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tithing. Gospel is good tithing, good news. Go ahead. Unto the meat. To the what? Unto the meat. To the meat. Go ahead. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. We the brokenhearted, man. That's why we out here. Go ahead. To proclaim liberty to the captives. To make you free. Give me John 8, 32. Liberty to the captives. We the captives. We still captive to this day. So question. Go ahead. Because we as a people want to only one two words, you know, in bondage, and they are ready to go. Right here, too. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, right here. Oh, okay. Because right. they fit the curses. All right. All right, go ahead. The broken hearted to proclaim liberty to the captive <laughs> and to open prison, and to open of the prison to them that are bound. So Christianity teach you, they supposed to teach you the gospel. The gospel is found in Isaiah, that's why Christ went to it. But they say the Old Testament, no, no, that's the Old Testament. You see that? You gotta go preach something for preach. You can't understand the new, you can't open the book and go in the middle of the book and understand, see what's going on, right? So to, under, to break down the gospel, that's why Christ said, he opened, give me the book of Isaiah, and he broke it down to him. Go ahead. To proclaim the accept, acceptable year of the Lord, in the day of vengeance. Yeah, what? It's a day of vengeance. Hold on. It's a day of revenge coming. That's the good news for us. The Lord is going to avenge us, man. Right? Go ahead. The day of vengeance of our God. Uh huh. To comfort all that mourn. And where? To appoint. Hold on. And mourn where? To comfort all that mourn. In Zion. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. <laughs> That's big. You can't just read over that. Because who is Zion? Israel. That's us, man. Go ahead. To give unto them beauty for ashes and uh, the oil of joy mm. for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, mm. the plenty of the Lord that he might be glorified. So this is the gospel, man. We're talking about our avengers, man. The revenge. We ain't got revenge for this yet, man. You know, they kind of getting away with it all these years. They kind of swept it under the rug. They tell you to remember the Alamo, remember 9-11. They want you to forget this. Oh, that's that bygone view. But the Lord don't say that. They will make the Lord unfair. You see that? Good. Captivity. Well, the Lord said this is our last captivity. Seven is completion in the scripture. So the Lord said He won't bring us into captivity no more. So give me Revelation 13, 9, give me Isaiah 14 and 1. I'm going to show you what that means. And they know this. That's why they're going to make war against the saints. Right? That's why they're creating a space force. They're going to try to fight. They they measure the time. That if you go online and look up Doomsday Clock, this damn devil got a doomsday clock. And he got a couple minutes left on the clock. He measures the time by us waking up. He see the Israelites on the street, right? That's why they try to demonize us. That's why the world hates us. You see that? They love Christians. Christian is the number one religion on the earth. So how is that the straight gate? That's the wide gate. We got churches with 20,000 people in. They teach you God loves everybody. We all want and everybody gonna be saved. I can't find that in the Bible. But the Lord said you should be hated for my name's sake. We coming in the name of Yahweh Shah. We ain't coming in the name of Jesus Christ. So when the people left Jesus and Moses was walking through the desert, they were coming from the Jesus and Moses was walking through the desert. Are you people that Jesus coming back to the Bible? No, the other people. The Lord. Oh, yeah, he was looking at them. Yeah, the heathen. Yeah, the heathen. Yeah, because I'm saying, like, when they were still wandering, they didn't know they were wandering. Right, right. 40 years. Right, right. And they were wandering. Right, right. The Lord was... Right. The Lord was... Right. Right. God made 18 nations of people. It's only the 18 nations of people on the earth. He took one of the nations and made of his own, which is the Israelites. All the other nations are our enemies. So those other nations that you're talking about, when God said you're coming upon the Edomites, that's the white man. The 
China, the Amorites, that's the Japanese man. Uh, the Moorites, that's the Chinese man. Those are our enemies. We've been fighting these people ever, ever since God created us. But, so, so basically, I, I got what you're saying. So, in, uh, in uh, uh, Genesis 10th chapter. All the nations are named. From 18. Uh, go ahead. Uh, this is Revelation chapter 13. What was the, I forgot the point. Oh, she was saying um, about seven captivity. Okay, I want to tell you what it means. Go ahead. This is our Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. So everybody got ears can hear, so he ain't talking about everybody. It means if you can understand. Like y'all get it? A lot of people come up and they reject the word because they love the so-called white. They, they don't want to believe that this is what it's saying. Go ahead. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. How is everybody going to be saying? Who put us in captivity? All of them. He was in captivity under the Persian Empire, the, 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 the Greeks, White. right? The Babylonians, the Per, the, the Assyrians, the Egyptians, all of them. Give me that in Luke. Let me show you what Christ said. Give me Luke 21. Go ahead. He that leadeth in, into captivity shall go into captivity. What's the problem? That's justice. You don't want justice now? If the white man got to go into slavery, we don't want to. We don't want to deal with it. That's our people. The Lord said, if you lead a nation of people into slavery, you got to go into slavery. That's righteous judgment. That means the most high is fair. Go ahead. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Mm. Who's, whose blessing was given that he said they were going to live by the sword and had a fatness of the earth? I just told Esau that. Remember he was crying because Jacob got the blessing? And he said, is thou one blessing from me, Father? He said, it's your blessing. You're gonna live by the sword and you're gonna have a fatness on the earth. But the Lord said, This is the judgment for us. This is the body we get sick. Missiles, his guns, right? Go ahead. He that kill it with the sword must be killed with the sword. Uh -huh. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. <laughs> Hold on, read that again. Here is the patience and faith. Of the saints. If you're a saint of the Most High, you're supposed to be patiently waiting for this to happen. You ain't supposed to be on there sweating. Ha! Pray to my, let's pray for a miracle. How you gonna pray for a miracle when the Lord said He's gonna destroy America for what He did to His people? All right. That's like you saying, Lord, you praying, asking the Lord not to do what the Word said He's gonna do. We patiently waiting on this to happen. So what's the difference between like Christianity we believe in the Bible? We read the Bible. No? We're showing you. See that? We reading things in the Bible that Christianity don't teach. Go ahead. I used to be a pastor. Church right over there on Orange Street, uh, 30, 37 Orange Street, right across from Morgan Point. I'll praise the Lord. I used to be a, a bishop, of, uh, one of the bishops of the organization, and the senior pastor. I got this knowledge about three years ago. I closed the church down. I dismissed the members. I stepped down as the bishop. Because I realized, as a Christian pastor, went to Bible college, been in church for 30, over 30 years, I, did, I realized I knew nothing. And I'm ashamed to even say that I was that, that I was a, a bishop and a pastor. I got up there, I preached like dog, uh, like, well, I don't want to put myself like T.D. Jake, but I preached, people stood, it made them feel good, but I didn't teach them who they was. I didn't know that I was a Israelite. When, when the Most High brought this trip to me, I, I listened. And after 30 some years in Christianity, being a, 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 a somewhat of a successful pastor, I stepped down, dismissed the congregation. I stepped down and I had to learn this truth. This is the truth. You're Israelite. We are the people of God. He's coming back. 
is coming. It's real soon. His name ain't Jesus. His name is Yahweh. Yahweh Shah. That's right. That's right. That's right. See that? So what happens is Christianity gave you a doctrine. Remember, crafty council. Right? Christianity right, comes from the Roman Catholic. They brought it. Look, you know your religion, right? These are the men that created your religion. Sure, yeah. They know who they are. They know they're the evil right. Their job is to keep you in sin. To keep you from the truth. You can't bring that out of you. Right, me too. I thought at 17. I'm going to show you what these nations know and what they say. In Christianity, they do not believe in the Bible, right? They don't. I grew up in Christianity my whole life. But, but the Lord right? said, bless is he that read it. You don't read the scripture. You can sit in church and pastor and tell you anything for three hours. Right? How many priests have we done pulled from the book? Yeah. Pastor pulled one scripture one, and preach. He can, I can't preach for four hours. And preach on that. one scripture, man. You're talking about prosperity. When the Lord says death and destruction is coming, hmm. you talking about ain't no prosperity. The Lord said, blessed is they that keep the commandments. But you ain't teaching no commandments. But you too busy trying to you make the Lord's house a merchant. Right? Read this. Look at Judah chapter 5, verse 20. 5, 17. 17. And whilst they sin not before their God. Talking about us. These nations talking about us. While we sin not against the Lord, when we wasn't in sin. They prospered. We did what? Prospered. We prospered. We was the top nation on the earth. Go ahead. Because the God that hated iniquity was with them. But when they. With, hold on. With, with who? With them. They know that he's not their God. That's why they make their own idols and gods. And we always got punished for worshiping their God. Go ahead. But when they departed from the way which he appointed them. They were destroyed. We was what? Destroyed. We was destroyed when we depart from the Lord. Go ahead. In many battles, very sore. And were led captive into a land that was not there. And the temple of their God was cast to the ground. And their cities were taken by the enemy. But now are they returned to their God. And are come up from the place where they were scattered. And have possessed Jerusalem. Where their sanctuary is. And are seated in the hill country. For it was uh, desolate. Now, therefore, my Lord and Governor, if there be no... Look, hold on. He said, now, therefore, my Lord and Governor, these are the heathens taking the counsel. He's telling his kingness about the Israelites. If there be any error in this people... If there's sin in these people... Go ahead. If they sin against their God, uh -huh. let us consider that this shall be their ruin. It's going to destroy them. Read. And let us go up, and we shall overcome them. We can rule over these people. They don't have their laws, not to the commandments. Go ahead. But if there be no iniquity in their nation, let my Lord now pass by. If they not in sin, we better leave them the hell alone. Go ahead. Lest their Lord defend them and their God be for them, and we become a reproach. They know what the Lord did to the Egyptians. They know the Lord split the sea and killed all the They know the Lord killed all the firstborns of the Egyptians. Did, did the Lord love the Egyptians? Why did he say let everybody go? He said let my people go. It was many people under captivity under Pharaoh. But he said let my people go. So God don't love everybody. Read this. This is the book of Luke chapter 21 and verse 21. This is Yahweh Shai. This is Christ. This is the prophecy of Christ to prove that we weren't in slavery under all nations and that we the real Jews and how we got into Africa. Read this. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart. So he was telling us, this is a prophecy. When I'm gone, y'all gonna have to flee out of the land and flee into the mountains. The mountains is Africa. Why? Because it's dark nations too. We can blend in because we're dark. He ain't telling no white people to go to Africa. That's why the angel told uh, Mary and Joseph to take baby Jesus to Egypt. Why would he tell white people to go? Well, actually, he's going, they're going to know exactly where he is. Because there's other dark nations in Africa. Because they dark like us. Go ahead. And let them which are in the midst of it depart out. And let them that are in the countries enter therein too. For these, are, for these be the days of violence that all things which are written may be fulfilled. That all things that was written in the prophets be fulfilled. Go ahead. But woe unto them that are with child. Because if you had young children or you was pregnant, it's going to be hard for you to move around. 
see that? Because you're going to have to get the chip. We was going to have to be on the move. We was going to be pilgrims in the earth. We had to flee out the land. Go ahead. And to them that give suck in those days. Uh -huh. For there shall be great distress in the land mm. and wrath upon this people. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. So the real dudes are going to fall by the edge of the sword. I mean, they're going to be destroyed. Really? And shall be led away captives into all nations. Hold on, Pastor. So they went into slavery into all nations. Because the, the give me Deuteronomy 2 8, 64. And Jerusalem shall be trotted down of the Gentiles until, until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. See that? Our land was trotting down of the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Read this first. And, uh, you got the, uh, read this history. Uh, uh, from Babylon to Timbuktu, page uh -huh. 84. Get an author too. Oh. Rudolf Winsor. Rudolf Winsor is the author. Read this. During, the, during the period from Pompeii to Julius, it has been estimated that over a million Jews fled into Africa. So a million Jews fled into Africa. We just read Christ prophesied it. We fled into Africa, read. Fleeing from Roman persecution. So if we fled into Africa, that means we're not Africa. We fled into Africa, fleeing Roman persecution. The Romans were chasing us out the land. Go ahead. Um, the, um, the slave markets were full of black Jewish slaves. Hold on. Read that again. The what? Slave markets were full of black Jewish slaves. The slave markets was full of black Jewish slaves. That's why the Prime Minister of Palestine said, how did the Jews leave black and come back white? You see that? That's why he said there will never be peace in the land. Because we're not in the land. Go ahead. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 64. Here's the prophecy. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. The Lord come do what? Scatter thee among all people. Now we among all people. This, this is a curse to be not around each other, but scattered among other people. Now you got the brother walking with the Edomites because we've been assimilated. Go ahead. From the one end of the earth, even unto the other. Go ahead. And there thou shalt serve other gods. Wait a minute. He said, when you get to these places, you ain't going to serve me. You're going to serve other gods, and you're going to think it's me. Go ahead. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Our forefathers don't know nothing about these gods you serve serving them. Go ahead. Even wood. Even what? Wood. Even wood. What is wood? What's that cross they got on every church? That represents the wood. You're talking about Christianity. Christianity is the number one religion on the earth. That can't be the, 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 the truth. But that's the number one religion on the earth. I think they got what? Four, we looked it up. 4.6 yeah. billion. billion people in Christianity. We would be in the Christianity. Right? King David don't know nothing about no Baptist church, right? John, the, he was a man in the Bible who had the title of a Baptist because he was baptizing in the Jordan. How you got to hold down, a, I'm talking about I'm a Baptist. And a Pentecost. The Pentecost. <laughs> And, but they don't keep the Pentecost. We just right. kept the Pentecost, the Feast of First Fruits. They don't keep that. They keep Easter, Christmas. They keep the holidays. They don't keep the Holy Day. Go ahead. Even wood and stone. And stone. What does the stone represent? What are they worshiping now? They walk around the stone and they bow down to it. What's that? Islam, the number two religion. A lot of our people, they Muslim. So we in the Christianity and Muslim. See that? That's a prophecy. Go ahead. Okay. Read that again. All right. Uh, so mm. um, and there thou shalt serve other gods, which uh -huh. neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Say that one more time. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. So what do you guys um, think about the, what they call the New Age religion? New Age religion? That's what they call it. This, right. is, not, call it. this is not a religion. This is who we are. What right. is the, what is our history I'm book. not asking you a I think I right. think it's um, Satan. Yeah, anything that's against this Bible is against the Most High. Any any people that will not tell you that you're the Israelite, this Psalm 106 is not It's not right. So the, 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 it's not going to tell you who you are. They're going to tell you that you're a Gentile. The Bible tells you that you're not Gentile. We've read scriptures that said, I am black, Solomon. 
We had read scripture that said, I am black, my skin is black upon me. Joe. I think they got we that show, We show Jesus being a black man. The Christian church is not going to tell you who you are. Neither is this new wave church. And they know they kind of like the club. You know, I, I kind of see so I, you know, they kind of have fun in us. You know, it's dark like the club. They have fun. It looks fun. Like back when I was in the world, I would I would have chose to go to that. <laughs> I would have went to that church. They got the young crowd. You know what I'm saying? They jumping up and down. Yeah, man. They be this, is the, this is the one that I was going like Muslim. Christian, I think you're all joining together. No, I'm talking about like the one. I don't know what you call it. Oh, we probably talk about something else. Yeah, you are. It's, it's not really a religion. It's just what they call it. Like people that use sage and crystals and stones mm -hmm. and energy, mm -hmm. vibrations, music, yeah, like that's, that. Yeah, that's yeah. So, what the, the universe, what do you mean the universe? The most high is the most high. That's the, that's, give me an extra story. Exodus 20. Read this. That's what got us jammed up. Alright? Getting into all this other stuff, man. Yeah, serving up the guys. I'm looking at it. Oh, don't worry about it. It's just an edification part. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. Book of Psalms, chapter 106, verse 34. This what got us jammed up. We only supposed to do one thing. They do not destroy the nation concerning whom the Lord commanded them. Hey, the Lord commanded us to destroy nations and we didn't do it. That's why the Lord man was wrong. Right? That was the sin that's all for me. Because he didn't destroy the Amalekites. Now the Amalekites in your land talking about like they the Jews. When you the Jews. Go ahead. What? Were mingled among the heathen. We was what? Mingled among the heathen. We was mingled among the other nations. Go ahead. And learned their work. And we did what? Learned their work. And we learned their work. And they served their idols. And we served their idols. Which was a snare unto them. It was a trap. That was jammed up. This is not. Listen up, this is, this is commandment. First commandment. Exodus 20, verse 3. Thou do not have no God before me. So when you're doing all these things, you're putting up uh, God before the most God. Like some of us, I, we worship ourselves. You can make yourself an idol of God. You don't do nothing that the Lord says, but we want to please our flesh. I'm just going to do me. You know, I, be, I move to the beat of my own God. And the Lord didn't say that. The Lord said, keep my commandments and live. The way you are saying is that. You see that? Go ahead. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image uh -huh. or any likeness of any thing that is in heaven above or that is in earth beneath. Why? Because these other nations, when you read the scripture, that's what they was doing. They was setting up idols and, and they was worshiping it because they didn't have no God. He was out of Israel. Uh, Look at Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 18. What profiteth the graven image? What profit these idols and these gods? Go ahead. That uh, the maker thereof hath graven. What? The molten image and a teacher of lies. It's a what? Teacher of lies. It's a teacher of lies. Like a lot of our people, they get the cross tattoos on them. They got them on every church. They got the painted with the white Jesus on the cross. They, if they sincere, they mean well by it. To them, it means something else to them. But the Lord told us don't do that at all. You see that? Idol, it's a idol worship. Right, idol worship. See that? Even like the Christmas tree. That's the custom in the Bible of the heathen. When you have your children go, they bow down and get that present, open that present. They yeah. bow down to that tree. Go ahead. Jeremiah 10 for the top. And this this is cut Christianity in this damn Christian, this Christmas tree. Right? Read this. Hear ye the word which uh, the Lord said. Speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Oh, who? House of Israel. See, that's why they, they can do it. They got you jammed up following their ways and got us doing this thing. That's their goal to keep us in sin. It don't apply to them. We only talking to Israel. That's why they didn't get punished like we did because the Lord didn't give them these laws to keep. Right? Thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. No, learn the way of the heathen. Learn not the way of the heathen. Don't learn the way of the heathen. So that means when John Smith comes give you the Baptist religion in 1608, don't do it. Don't learn it. When Charles Putman come and give you the Pentecostal religion in 1901, don't do it. When Joseph Smith bring you the Mormon religion in 1830, don't do it. When Charles Talbot Russell bring you Jehovah's Witness in 1872, don't do it. See that? Go ahead. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Now we all, what are you? I'm a, I'm a, uh, Capricorn. I'm a, I'm a Capricorn. Hold on, read that part. Look at my sign. You all dismayed at the signs of heaven. Read that part. 
Step on. Uh, uh, the book of Jeremiah 10 and 2. Thus says the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, mm -hmm. and be not dismayed at the sign of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at this. For the customs of the people are vain. It's vanity. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. The work. Hold on. No, because, well, I heard your question. I thought you had a question. I do have a question. Because um, y'all was talking about, you know, the signs and the denied towards that series, all that stuff. Each tribe had different things that they did. This is what sign was. And that's why they can look at the, uh, look how they can look at the moon. And the Lord would show them signs. Right? That's not the same thing as looking at, can, can you look at the signs of heaven and, and read it now? No, because the Lord not dealing with us right now. During that time, the Lord was dealing with it. The Lord was coming and speaking to us and all that. Right now, the Lord not dealing with it. It's by faith. And we got the scriptures out of the word. So we got to go by the scriptures. And the Lord said, don't be dismayed at the time of that. Because he ain't given no time. See that? So that's so bring that out with you. Shalom, brother. You feeling all right? You know it. One day at a time. Good to see you, man. Yes, sir. I gotta stop and hear the words. Well, she uh she with her mother right now. She needed her mama time. She okay. Girl. I had to do it. Okay. I didn't want to. I did. All right. So I'm hearing the words. Are word. uh, you talking about Genesis six and um Genesis six? And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they looked uh they took them wives of all which they chose. Right. And I looked up. Um, you, uh, have you ever heard of the uh, Bible? The New Bible? Of course. It's recorded. Well, pretty much, if you, you can download it on your phone, it's, um, it pretty much takes this and goes back to the, you know, the Bible is translated from Greek and, uh, and Hebrew and English. It's different translations. So, I looked it up, and this is what the Son of God is right here. So they was dealing with the other nations, basically, because everybody not a child of God. So the sons of God was looking at the other nations. Give me, give me, uh, um, Deuteronomy 73. Go ahead, Lucas. When we get to the Genesis first chapter, we can deal with the sign of heaven. Uh, Genesis the first chapter, the 14th verse. And God said, let there be life in the firmament of heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. Now tell me what type of boy I'm dealing with. <laughs> for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. Like the sun is going down we never stop it again. We didn't have Calvary Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We went by the moon, right. by the sun. It's like we were teaching earlier that from Eve to Eve, the end of the day, where he saw that, we went to Daniel when he said the people changed the time. Now they say the beginning of the day started 12 minutes. That's what the Lord said. But now we do things differently. We do things. He told us to do it all night. That's what we know about. But that's why we go by the sun and the moon. But when the sun goes down, we know the Sabbath is over. Look from even to even. Look at Romans chapter one, verse twenty-five. Uh -huh. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the Creator? And that's why it's a bunch of confusion. That's why it's so confusing. You know, that's why some people read one thing and it says one, and they have one understanding. Somebody else comes and they have a different understanding. And that's why the Lord told us to be aware of all these different books. Book of Ecclesiastes. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, 
Nah, you pray, bro. All right, you got it? Well, uh... Hey, love, bro. Right, let me give you a flyer, bro. We'll take a flyer too, but we got the slide. But this is very, I like this. 12 this and 12. Further, by these, my son, be not a small heart, be not a dentist, a money of making many books. Because there's going to be a lot of books out there. You got the book of Joe Cephas, you got the book of uh, Mary Madden here, you got the, you got many, there's a bunch of books out there. Is much study is a weariness of the flesh. You're going to be confounded. You're going to have all these different books trying to figure out what to do. We know the, the books that are true because all these books that were compiled together. Give me give me that uh, uh, in the zombie. Uh, it's okay. Well, that's cool. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you all for listening. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right.